I finished my half a Viking and have flown it electric powered so far. I use the Mount Fuji tissue on the center wing panels and I used a Saki on the outer panels. This is the RC system I have on there now that controls the motor speed and DT with a metal geared servo. I had used this system on my satellite 320 and it worked great, never a problem. This is a close up of the wing that has tissue over mylar and it's a humid morning, lots of dew, and you can see the covering is completely tight. The stab, on the other hand, didn't have the mylar underneath it, and you can see how the tissue is loose. Here's one of my first flights, and I did launch it to the right, and it circles to the right. Now, that was the big question, whether to have this plane fly to the left, which on a high thrust would be normal, but on this plane, the nacelle is about an inch below the wing compared to a real high thrust where it's right below the wing. The plane was turning too much right and I had to shim the wing up slightly because of that. But it was good that it was turning so tight flying in this tiny field. Still, the glide looked really good. Analyzing the wing further, I see that uh, on the inside panel I actually had wash out where it should be a slight wash in. So I straightened that out and then I took it out to another, a bigger field. And the first launch, it didn't really look like it was going to transition very well, so I gave it a DT to bring it down. With the warp out of the wing now, I didn't need the shim on the front of the wing because it was stalling something terrible in the glide. It was still uh, turning plenty tight to the right. I made another short flight and I noticed it was drifting uh, pretty fast with the wind. The glide looked pretty good but uh, there's still this little bit of stall at times. When I get this plane adjusted real good, I sure would like to take the electric out and try it with the TD, but I still want to leave the RDT in it. And I give it another launch. And didn't let it climb too high, at least I didn't think too high. And it just uh, didn't want to come down. It's, it still seems to be stalling some but it just kept at this height or got a little bit higher as it got out farther and I started running off towards where it was headed and I watched it until I couldn't see it any longer and I was giving it the DT through the radio but it seemed like it wasn't working or it just wasn't coming down. I searched the rest of the afternoon and then I took the, the video I had and tried to enlarge it and I had posted it on YouTube and Thayer Simi had kind of analyzed it further and had seen these dots here and he thought he could tell that it was starting to come down. I walked out there thinking I had a good line and then I flew my little drone over the area watching for it and taking pictures and taking the pictures home and enlarging them and looking in all the trees, it was some really hard walking. There's places where it's bog and, and you just can barely get through. So it was really important that they could try to spot it from the air if it didn't run across it because uh, you just couldn't walk all the area. This uh, farm belongs to somebody that's in this kayak group and I had made an appeal to members of the kayak group that live out there. If anybody finds it, I'd give them a cash reward. So I had a couple of people helping and they didn't have any luck either. So a relative of the owner of the land has a small Piper aircraft and he flies into this field every once in a while. So I asked if there was any possibility that he would be coming 
over. And I thought he was coming next week, but he came on Friday night. Uh, and as he flew over, he spotted it, and uh, they went out and found it, and it was in perfect shape. And I went back out there Saturday morning and got my airplane. So I don't know exactly where it was, but it was a long way out, and it appears that it had switched directions with the line that it seemed like it was circling on and went uh, farther towards the, the ro far road.